Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another quick swatch party video. I just got my order in from the VIB Rouge sale that just ended yesterday. So I quickly wanted to film a swatch party for you guys in case some of you were thinking of picking this palette up on the second round. So this is the palette I will be swatching. It's the Makeup Forever Lustrous Blush Palette that came out for the holidays. So if you're interested in seeing that, just keep watching. Also, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe down below. I upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me and I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I also have a giveaway going on right now that ends at the end of November. I'm giving away a My Little Pony palette from ColourPop. I know it's nothing big guys but it's really what I can afford right now and I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that watches my videos. So I hope you guys will enter that because I would love somebody to win that palette and yeah, I just think who doesn't love free makeup, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbering and get into the swatch. Book. Okay, usually I like to bring you guys closer, but that really makes it hard for me to like fit my arms in the viewfinder. So I'm gonna keep you zoomed out a little bit, but this is what it looks like. It comes in that Makeup Forever like tin pan, the large size one, but it has this like special packaging, I'm assuming for the holidays. It's just like plastic top. So I'm gonna keep this on because I think Nicole from Young Oil and Polish received this in PR and she said the top is like the Jaclyn Hill palette, the Becca palette, and things like stick to that plastic. So I'm just gonna keep this little protector on, which is kind of tacky, but honestly, who cares? So this is what the inside looks like. You guys, when Trend Mood posted about this, I was like salivating. Like, it just called my name and I haven't bought any of the bigger face palettes for holiday. Like I passed so far, I've passed on all the Becca palettes. The only other one I picked up was the Hourglass palette. And yeah, I really like that palette. So if you guys want to see that review, I will link it up in the cards for you guys. But yeah, this is just like, it was just so beautiful. And I heard a lot of people say this would work with multiple skin tones. These are all full size products. And I really wanted to try this palette out because I haven't tried any of these powders. So I'm gonna stop blabbering. I'm gonna start swatching. I can see four distinct skin tones here. And I feel like honestly, I will get use out of pretty much all of these shades except maybe this one but I like to do other people's makeup too so you never know who I might encounter in my you know travels around the sun here so these are the lightest shades so let me go ahead and get to swatching one is definitely a highlight and then the other two are mattes so this looks like it's gonna be like a, a matte under like a powder for your face and then this is a contour shade for a really light skin tone as you can see it looks very very ashy so obviously I probably won't be able to use that on my face but that's okay because again I can use it on somebody else's face so this is the next set of shades it's another light row so there is a distinct matte powder a blush and another contour shade so let's go ahead and swatch those so really hard to see guys so obviously you know these are not for tan skin oh my gosh do these have numbers okay let me tell you the numbers because I totally forgot so okay so I'm assuming if I'm doing this right the first one is H102 which is a highlighter B200 which is a blush and then we've got S112 which is a sculpting powder then we have H104 which is a highlighter B302, which is a blush, and then S116, which is also another sculpting powder. Okay, now this is the row I'm assuming is going to be for my skin tone. There they are. So let me swatch. Not that impressed with these swatches, guys. And then let me tell you the number. So we have H106, which is a highlight. We have B208, which is a blush. And then we have S118, which is a sculpting powder. I feel like with these, it's really going to be about how these powders perform on the skin. So we'll see. And then these are the last three shades. God, these look nice and vibrant um, on my fingers. So there they are. 
really really pretty and those shades are h108 b316 and s502 if any of you guys are planning on picking these up individually during the sale i just wanted to give you the numbers so you guys know so again this is the actual full palette these are all full-size products and i think you can buy them individually i just decided to pick this palette up because it was literally calling my name i do see on the back here that this is a six month shelf life which is not good i think it needs to be more than that and it is made in italy so I'm definitely gonna have to put this on my face before I tell you guys like my full thoughts but I at least wanted to get swatches up so you guys had an idea of what these would look like on a skin tone similar to mine. The other thing I wanted to mention is too, I don't have a lot of Makeup Forever products. I actually can't really think of much of anything. I don't really like any of their foundations particularly. And yeah, I've just never, I mean, I have like an eyeliner from them and I just bought the Flash palette, but this is my big like Makeup Forever purchase. So I'm very, very excited to play with this. I will have a review up for you guys as soon as I'm comfortable doing that. But I hope you enjoyed this swatch video. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me. Let me know your thoughts on this palette in the comments down below. I would love to hear them. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.